patients got community acquired pneumonia. Now the question is what is the antibiotic regimen we want to start this patient on? Well, normally when a patient present with community acquired pneumonia and you decide the patient needs inpatient treatment, typical bugs that you want to cover is going to be streptococcal pneumonia, haemophilus influenza and your atypical such as chlamydia, mycoplasma and legionella. So your typical drug regimen that you will normally pick in a community acquired pneumonia is going to be drugs such as ceftriaxone azithromycin or ceftriaxone doxycycline or you can also pick cefotaxin with doxycycline or azithromycin or if you want to pick ampicillin sulbactam plus azithromycin or doxycycline so you have multiple regimens but typically you're going after these four common bugs but what's different in this question so this question is going after something even more important when you have a case of community acquired pneumonia when should you start thinking of covering the patient for MRSA as well as pseudomonas? That's what this question is going after. As a general rule of thumb, if a patient with community acquired pneumonia ends up in the ICU and is intubated or ends up on a mechanical ventilator or is in septic shock like this patient is because we started fluids and vasopressors, the moment the patient is in septic shock, you immediately have to straight off the bat start the patient on MRSA coverage. So we are going to need vancomycin here. The next question is, do we need pseudomonal coverage? 